ABC 10 News at 8 starts now. Good morning, I'm Moses Small with your top stories. It is Saturday, April 19th. And you've probably heard about beach erosion, but one local city here in our region is trying to do something new to bring sand back to the beaches. ABC 10 News reporter Olivia gonzalez Britt shows us what's in the works and how it could change the shoreline. When you picture a beach, you probably picture sand, right? Well, in Oceanside, it's mostly rocks, but now the city is one step closer to fixing just that. Beach erosion is shrinking shorelines up and down the California coast, and in Oceanside, it's pretty visible. There's no beach. There's no beach. That's pretty much the biggest thing that I've noticed. Coastal Zone Administrator Jamie Timberlake tells me the city's beach loss is part of a bigger issue. Whenever we have these constructs that we build in the watershed and we don't have a fully natural watershed, you're going to see an interruption in how beaches function naturally. A local factor is the Camp Pendleton Boat Basin. And our harbor that's connected to that boat basin and the jetty that surrounds that, that harbor, um, it, it limits the amount of flow of sediment that can come down from the Santa Margarita River and make its way to our beaches to restore them naturally. But this is happening across the world, so cities are looking at global solutions. On Australia's Gold Coast, an artificial reef has helped keep sand from washing away. And now Oceanside wants to try the same thing. What we need to do is try and enable the sand to stick around a little bit longer so we don't have to go out and dredge sand as frequently as we may need to, to keep a beach around. The plan involves building two rocky structures called headlands that stick out into the water and install an artificial reef between them. The setup would slow wave energy giving sand a better chance to stay in place. One of the headlands would also add new park space and better beach access. Now, the city recently secured almost $2 million from the California Coastal Commission to design the project, but it's not approved yet. If they do, construction could begin by 2027. I'm really, really excited about the Coastal Commission grant and that they're, they're um, giving us their uh, early preliminary nod of approval. <laughs> And for families like Jessica's, Yay, it's a welcoming it, change. I have a under two year old and I would love for him to actually be able to play on the beach, on the sand, go in the water without there being a gnarly beach break. Um, the waves are terrifying when there's this much sand. In Oceanside, Olivia Gonzalez, Britt, ABC 10 News.